In this video, I'm kicking off a new tutorial series for anyone who might be new to Affinity. So if you're coming over from Canva or if you're someone who just has heard Affinity is free now and you want to learn, I've got you covered in this set of videos. So in this first video, we're going to start talking about the home screen. So when you first open Affinity, what are you looking at? How do you launch new projects? What are all these different settings you're seeing? We're going to cover all of that in this video. So let's get started. If you're new to Affinity, then one of the first screens you want to get familiar with is just the home screen that launches when you first open Affinity. And so this is usually where you're going to launch new projects from. So you're going to get this floating window here, and actually behind that you just have the design window, where when you launch a design, it's going to open in this window. So I have this floating window here where I have things like my recent documents I've been working on, favorites, things I may have starred that become favorites, then also presets, uh, my templates, and then down here some learning uh, files from Affinity itself. Now this window you can move around, so if you had two monitors you could move it off to your second monitor, uh, bring it back when you need it. You can also resize this in here as well. And so this screen just gives us ways of launching our existing designs or starting new designs. So I could come over here and I could just click on one of my favorites here. So I could click on this one here. And if I like left click on it, it's gonna hide that floating window and it's gonna go ahead and open that new project. So now we're in the project window and we have this untitled project open because we started something new. Now, if we ever wanna get back to that home screen, all we gotta do is come up here under the file menu and choose new. And when we choose new, it's gonna bring that home screen back up. Now it's showing us a slightly different version of the home screen now because if you click on this plus icon you're going to get this new window but if you just click on the home icon there then we're back on the home screen now because we chose file new that's why boom use this green thing it just takes us back to this screen here where we're seeing presets we're seeing different page sizes uh, and so we can also come over here and set up a totally custom document where we enter in whatever dimensions we want and when we enter in these new dimensions we can either create the document or we can actually create a preset and it's going to add it to this window here but again, anytime we want to navigate back to this home screen, just use the home icon here and now we're back on the home screen. Now the one other option we have here is a folder and if you click on the folder, of course, then we're going to be on our computer searching through our different folders and we can launch a project directly that way. Now, Of course, if you wanted to just ignore the screen completely and just go under file, open and open an existing document on your computer, you can do that as well. But let's go ahead and click new just to bring back this window because we will need this window if we're launching a totally new design. Now before we talk about these new design settings let's just go back to the home screen one more time and as I mentioned here we have things like recent documents favorites uh, presets and templates uh, you can use these see more to expand these categories or you can also do that up here so I'm seeing recents here but if I want to see even more recents I could click on this tab here I'm seeing even more recent uh, projects here we click on the learn button we see those learning series from affinity and then if we want to see all of our templates all of our favorite we just use those tabs here and then we can re return to this home option anytime we want but if you are launching a new design and it's a size that you don't have here under your favorites or your presets then a lot of times you will be coming over to this new document screen so let's talk about this screen a little bit more right now so first of all if you're not seeing document settings here this is something you can twirl on and off over here so if you have it twirled on then when you click once on any of these you're going to see the updated settings for whatever that uh, preset or particular design type is over here now in the home screen when you click once it launches that you have to double click now if you wanted to launch any of these uh, from this new document screen so you can scroll down and you can see uh, different categories they have so if I come down here here's some different social media ones they have here but they may not have what you're looking for and that's where you can create something totally new and totally custom so if I wanted to create something that was in that new recommended Instagram post size for sort of that portrait orientation I think that's 1080 by 1350 pixels so I could come over here and I could call this whatever I wanted so I'm gonna call this insta I'm gonna call it portrait and I'm gonna call it 13 50 by 1080 actually maybe about 1080 because I'm putting in my width first so 1080 width by 1350 height uh, and I'm typing sort of some uh, abbreviations and stuff because if you type out a little bit farther see now I've reached the character limit so there are only so many characters you can put up here but you want to try to um, create something 
that makes it easy when you look at this later to find your way back and understand exactly what you're launching. So I have this right now, but I actually might change this here because if I come down here and let's say I also want to put some margins on here. So you have all these different document settings you can put into here. So your units, your page width and page height. So let me change this to pixels. And of course for page width here, I'm going to put uh, 1080 for my width. So 1080 now that we're working in pixels. So I'll type in 1080 here. Now for my height, I'm going to put 1350 for my height down here. So 1350 for a page height. And then I also want to come in here and I want to add a margin. So I'm going to add a 50 pixel margin all the way around. So I'll type in 50, leave that linked. If I wanted to change something different, I could unlink it like that. Then I could change these individually. But when you have it linked here, everything is going to change all at once. So also uh, there's a setting in here where you can turn on the background and make it transparent. By default, it comes in with sort of a white background, but if I wanted to start as transparent, you could turn that on. That's something you can also do from the document interface as well, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm gonna turn that on. I'm gonna turn all these things on here. So I might wanna reflect some of that in my naming here. So let's get rid of this portrait. I don't really need the portrait thing. So let's just say Insta for Instagram, and then we have the width and the height, but let me just put also put in a T for transparent. And you can come up with your own code so this makes sense for you. And then I'm gonna also put in 50 uh, for margin. So 50 margin. So your own little code up here so you have a better chance of understanding what it is since you limit the characters. I could just launch this document right now, but first I wanna create a preset. When I create a preset, it's gonna add it over here. So now when I come back under my presets, I have this new preset here that says Insta 1080 width times 350 T50 uh, for margin. So all this things that I just wrote out over here, so I sort of understand what that is. And so now on my home screen, if I go under my home screen under presets, I'm also gonna see it there as well. So something I could launch very quickly. Now favorites aren't really functionally different, but it does give you a way to maybe tag those presets that you use most often. I can't favorite something from this screen, but if I come back to the new screen here, then I go under my presets here and I have this new uh, preset right here. I have this star option up here. If I click on that, then boom, I've made it a favorite. And if I come back on my home screen, now under my favorites, let's see right here, boom, here's this new favorite that I just added, okay? So just a way to be able to quickly access something in the future. Now let me come back to this new document screen for a second. You have other options over here for turning on artboards, things like that. I'm not gonna discuss all of these right now. I'll have other videos on this channel where we get into some of these things even more. But anyways, once you have everything done, you can go ahead and directly create the document this way. Of course, you can also left click over here, double click, and it will launch that. And we notice this is that Instagram format. I set it up so there is transparency. I set it up so there is this margin. So very nice to have those presets where it can launch with exactly the document setup you want. Now, if you happen to launch something and you still wanna get back into that document setup, you'll notice you see it right here. Now, you may not see it if you're under a different category. I'm seeing it under different categories, but that's with this move tool selected. If I come in here and suddenly I'm clicking on other tools, we, lo we lose that because different contextual menus show up based on what tool you have selected. But if I come all the way in here and I click on the top tool, then with these top selection tool, we have this document set up. So anytime you come up here and select this move tool, regardless of what you're under here, you're gonna see the document set up. You can also just go under document and choose set up document setup and if you want to do that you're going to be able to get back to some of these uh, options we saw before plus a few extra options as well but in other words that page transparency if instead of the transparent background i had wanted it to just have that white background i could come in here and i could zoom down until i find that transparent option and there it is right there i can turn that off go ahead now we have that white background. Of course, you could very easily add a pixel layer as well, but let me go ahead and turn that back on. So set up, document setup. Go ahead, find that transparent background option down here, turn it on, and then you're gonna see that transparency. So just different ways of doing the same thing, but I did wanna let you know you can get back to this document setup from within the project interface. Let's jump back one more time. I think we've covered everything, but also I'll just mention when you're under this option here, if you also wanna filter by things that are oriented horizontally versus designs that are or oriented in that portrait style, you can do that as well. So the Affinity home screen, pretty intuitive, but you'll start to learn your way around and set up favorites and presets so you can very quickly launch the documents you want. And of course, recent documents also appear. And of course, if you just wanna search for a document, 
go ahead and search for a document on your computer as well. Okay, so that's the Affinity Home screen. Hopefully that helps you get started with launching new projects, finding existing projects, and then setting up presets and things like that that will save you time. If you found this helpful, make sure you subscribe to this channel and be on the lookout for new videos in this series coming out soon. Now, if there's anything particular you wanna learn, let me know down below. I'm gonna keep putting out videos like this to help you get up to speed quickly on Affinity because it really is a nice tool. And now that it's free, it's definitely something you might want to take advantage of. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon. Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented it. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past.